All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be hopefully turning rock into iron. I'm gonna be using very low grade iron ore. Here it is right now. I have 50 pounds of it of different grades. I'm starting with this iron. I'm starting with that crushed rock to that, to that, to that, to that. It just gets uh, lower quality down the line. I've got my furnace. I got a barrel filled with charcoal. I got blowers and um, yeah, let's go. If you want to see how I built the furnace, made the charcoal, found the ore, you can go check out my channel. I've got videos on how I did all that. But today, we're just going to be making the iron from the rock. Okay, so there's a look down inside the furnace. The bottom is kind of um, kind of shaped like this, kind of like a trough. So my uh, iron kind of slopes down the sides and clicks. And it gets a lot smaller as it goes up to the top. That way the heat is kind of reflected down in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it up with some charcoal. And uh, one thing I want to point, about, point out about the air hole, it kind of comes in at an angle so that the fire swirls around in there as it goes up instead of just blasting straight up and out the top. You know, liquid motivation for it. Just going to let her burn for a minute while I go ahead and prepare the stump and uh, get some other things started up, the generator and everything else. So yeah. Alright guys, so I got the generator running. So I can power my electric blowers, and here's the setup. I haven't plugged it in yet, but blower is going to blow into this steel pipe, which is going to blow into there. And don't worry about the steel pipe melting. It is inches away from the uh, from even the inside. As you can see, it only goes in about three inches, and that hole right there is several inches deep. This is my scale. I'm going to be adding the uh, charcoal and the ore in a one-to-one -one ratio by weight. And so I got this perfectly balanced so that if one pound's over here, the scale goes down. And uh, I gotta even it out with the charcoal over here to make it balanced once more. So that should give me a rough one-to-one uh, -one ratio of charcoal and uh, and uh, da -da 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 -da, ore. Down to my last bucket. And I am about 
about a third of the charcoal got I got about a third of the charcoal left, so just gonna keep going. Alright guys, this is my last bucket of ore. This is a really low quality big boulder I crushed up. And my, uh, I guess, it's not my last bucket of charcoal, but the last charcoal I'm going to use. Alright guys, so where the air goes in right there, I just pulled it out several times and banged that steel bar in there. And uh, I think there's a one giant piece of slag or maybe my... Uh, uh, maybe my ball of iron or whatever, but something's kind of clogging that clogging that hole up so bad I can't really uh, I can't bang through it. So I'm gonna try to turn the uh, turn the blower on to right here, and if that doesn't work, that's not bad. I've only got that much more left, so this can be the end of the test if it is if uh, if it's clogged up. Doesn't matter. All right, guys. So since the uh, the uh, intake air holes clogged up and the slag holes clogged up, I think the test is done. Let's go ahead and break it open. I got through probably 40 pounds of my uh, 40 pounds of my um, what's it called? My ore, and probably through about uh, three fourths of my barrel. All right, guys, there's a giant mass on that back wall of the furnace. I am going to have to sledgehammer it out of there. All right, guys, so as you might be able to see, the bottom chunk of that furnace is now on the side, and it's all one massive lump. The Alright guys, this is a little bit disappointing, but at least I did find some iron in there. Uh, I got a whole bunch of these little BBs, and um, yeah, so I didn't really succeed at uh, getting a bloom, but I did succeed at turning rock into iron, or extracting fairly pure iron from rock, as you can see. I just uh, pulled these out with the magnet from my slag pile over here, and what I'm doing is I'm finding all the good pieces of slag, the ones that don't have rocks and stuff in them, they look like they're completely melted. Crushing them up with the tamp, and then going over here to the magnet, and finding all the BBs out of it, and let's start some good. All right. So that probably is a lot of crap that's not BBs. So I'm going to uh, look at the bottom of this real quick. Yeah, a lot of that crap is not very pure. So now it's up to me to kind of pick through it and find the the good iron out of it. I see a good piece right here. Yep. Disappointing, but you know what? I, I only halfway failed. <laughs> I did turn rock to iron. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this for a little bit until I'm tired of it. And uh, then I'm going to find all the BBs and get them nicely displayed for you to see how much I actually got. That's what's left of the furnace. I've smashed up all the slag I can stand. Smashing up and going through it with a magnet several times. And uh, there is definitely no bloom. Um, but I'm finding a lot of these little uh, metal BBs like those in the middle of the, er, those in the, middle of the magnet right there. Probably shouldn't get the magnet close to my phone. Um, anyway, so let me take uh, my findings, which are both on top of that bucket and inside of it, up to the house and uh, try to get all the BBs um, separated from black sand. All right, guys, so here's everything that I pulled out with the magnet from my um, crushed up slag. 
As you can see, here's the uh, little magnet with all the little BBs of iron on it. So, because I don't really care about the black sand and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and run it through this screen and just get the bigger, more um, pretty looking pieces of iron out of it. So that kind of got all those big chunks of uh, rocky slag out of there. Now I can easily pick the BBs up with my fingers. All right, guys, there is the final product. That is probably at least 90% iron, I'd say. And uh, I left a little bit in the pan and then dumped it back in here. The crap I couldn't get easily or just wasn't pretty enough. It's not like I'm trying to uh, get the best yield at this point anyway. So if you want to go ahead and see how I um, built the furnace, made the charcoal, uh, collected the ore, did all that, you can go ahead and search other videos on my, on my uh, YouTube channel. If I had to do this again, I would probably use better ore. Once again, the, the ore I used was probably less than 10% iron um, by weight, if I just had a guess. I would use real magnetite or hematite. That'd probably significantly increase my yield. I'd build the furnace a little bit better, a little straighter, a little more circular and smooth on the inside, and probably like four or five feet tall. For the blower, I would probably... I don't know. I just I would just make sure the the blower's airway into the furnace is clear every like 30 minutes just to make sure I don't get all stopped up like I did today. But anyway, I'll call this a 51% uh, success. I wasn't expecting a really good result anyway because the quality of ore and this being my first time trying it. But you know what? I did turn rock into iron or extracted iron from rock, so it wasn't a complete failure. And I'm happy enough to go ahead and post the video because I, I did I did achieve a little bit of iron creation. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.